Things in the web design world are changing faster than ever. And if us as designers refuse to change and get ahead of these new technologies, we're probably going to get left behind. Now, with that said, I'm not a doomsdayer. With all these changes in AI and no code and business in general, I actually believe that these things can benefit us as designers more than pretty much any other job or industry. So this video is about my predictions of the best opportunities that we will have as designers. They could help you earn more than you ever have before. So let's get into it. Starting off with opportunity number one, right out the gate I wanna talk about AI because this is one of the biggest worries that a lot of designers have. There's a lot of talk about how AI is going to take our jobs or replace us as designers. And I actually don't think this is the case, at least not for the next five to 10 years. But what I do believe is designers that learn to effectively use AI every single day are going to replace designers that don't. So if you haven't already started implementing AI in your design process, your project management process, and everything else that you do, you're probably already falling behind. But I don't want you to stress too much because it's definitely not too late to start doing those things. It actually doesn't take a lot to become proficient in these AI tools. You just have to spend the time. Tools like Reloom and Lovable are starting to take the entire design and development process completely off your plate. Right now, these tools can easily cut your project times in half, if not more. And I also know that there are a ton of other great AI tools out there, a lot of which I don't even know about yet. So if there are any good AI tools that you like to use, please drop a link down in the comments. Now, another concern that a lot of designers have is that clients are going to start using these AI tools and doing their websites by themselves. And there might be a few clients that end up doing this, but luckily I think we are a long way away from clients building their own websites with AI, especially considering that most of my clients still struggle logging into their Gmail. So right now, AI is and will continue to be a massive opportunity. So spend the time to learn these AI tools and integrate them into your process. Right now, it might just save you a little bit of time. In the long term, it might completely run your entire business. All right, the second opportunity is dev jobs starting to be handed to designers. Tools like Framer, Webflow, Bubble, Lovable turn ordinary designers into pretty competent developers. And it's pretty crazy the types of things that a designer can build with these tools. No reasonable client is going to pay full price and wait six to 12 months to have a developer code from scratch their software or web app when a designer like you and me can build it in weeks with one of these tools. So this is going to be a huge opportunity for you and me. I would recommend expanding your knowledge outside of just building basic websites and learn these other tools that allow you to build more complex systems, apps, and softwares. The skills necessary to learn these tools are pretty much the same. So if you know Framer or Webflow, you're likely going to be able to learn very quickly how to use Bubble and Lovable and some of these other development tools. Plus, your eye for UX and UI design coupled with these powerful development tools are going to turn you into an absolute asset for your clients. So look for ways to branch out in your skill set and the tools that you use and you're going to be able to start landing a lot of these development jobs. All right, this next prediction is a little bit more specific. Right now, I'm seeing a huge opportunity with the tool Framer. And specifically, I'm starting to see the long-term potential and security in using the tool. So over the past one to two years, Framer's been growing like crazy. And it seems to me that it's made a lot more progress in terms of new features and improvements than any other site builder. So if you already use this tool or you're considering using the tool, here are a few things for you to be excited about over the coming years. Okay, so first, there is a huge need for Framer experts. Not too long ago, Framer even launched their experts program, which is an amazing place to find new clients. As of right now, the experts program isn't nearly as oversaturated as those of other tools. But there are also a ton of businesses that know they want to use Framer and are looking for somebody that's proficient at the tool. So if you want an opportunity to position yourself in a niche where it's way easier to find clients, I think Framer is going to be an awesome opportunity for you. The second reason that I think Framer is going to be a huge opportunity for designers is the fact that it is moving so quickly. This industry is changing so rapidly and right now Framer seems to be the only tool that's keeping pace. It really feels like a lot of these other development tools are moving so slowly, probably because of boards and investments 
investors and everything else that comes with being a really big company, which can actually be detrimental to us as users. So I really like the place that Framer's in right now where it's really popular and a lot of people want to use it, but they also still feel really lean. So they're moving quickly, launching new features every week, and seem to be really listening to the community. So I'm not trying to oversell you on Framer, but for me as a user, I really like the idea of the tools that I use really future-proofing my business. I wanna know that they're going to be making improvements and adding features that are beneficial to me, and also that they're going to be evolving with the industry just to make sure that I don't fall behind. I'd also like to add that Framer seems to be really forward thinking with things like AI and integrating with other tools like Figma. So I think they're headed in the right direction. And I believe that if you choose to use Framer to build your websites, you're gonna be putting yourself in a really great position. All right, now the fourth and final opportunity that I wanna talk about is actually one that I am seeing a lot more even this year so far, and that is mass retirement. More business owners are retiring right now than ever before. There's an entire generation of entrepreneurs and business owners that are getting older and they're ready to sell their businesses. And the cool part is these businesses are being sold to new, young, hungry entrepreneurs. Many of these businesses are outdated, many might not even have a website, and most have no sort of marketing strategies or anything like that implemented to help them grow. A lot of these old businesses have relied solely on word of mouth to grow. So now that they're being taken over by these new, young, hungry entrepreneurs, they're gonna be looking for ways to revamp the business and bring it into the future. This means a new website, new marketing strategies, new branding, and also possibly new software or apps. So as we continue to see these older entrepreneurs sell their businesses and hand them down to younger entrepreneurs, we need to position ourselves in a place where we can be the go-to solution for those business owners. Now, I do think it's likely that some of these new owners might try to do these things themselves. They might try to build a website, they might try to use AI, but most good entrepreneurs are going to know that this is not the best use of their time if it's not their expertise. And so they're gonna to wanna to find somebody like you and me to take that torch and get all of the work done the right way for them. All right, so let's recap these four opportunities. Number one is AI, and more specifically, AI design and development tools. I'm gonna to link to some in the description and you can check the comments for more recommendations. Number two is all the development jobs being given to to designers. Learn tools like Bubble and Lovable and you're going to be able to expand your capabilities and build more than just basic websites. Number three is future-proofing your business by choosing the right tools. The specific tools that I've mentioned in this video are ones that I personally feel like you can rely on, but just make sure you choose tools that you feel are going to be around and are going to support your business. And the fourth opportunity is mass retirement. Older business owners are selling their businesses to young, hungry entrepreneurs, and they're going to need a new website, new marketing, and you can position yourself to be the person for the job. So I do have a few more predictions like these ones, but I'm just gonna go ahead and drop them in the comments down below so we can have a discussion about them. I'll see you down there.